Hi, I am Hope Stafford with the Hope Helps Group at Realty One Group Premier, and I am here with Kim Thompson, who's a sales rep for Douglas County Land Title. Hi, Kim. Hi, Hope. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for being here. Um, go ahead and give uh, your a good email to reach you for anybody that's a broker in Douglas County. So I'd be happy to help you all with helping you grow your business and especially get through this difficult time we're in right now. So um, I just want to be a resource for you all. And uh, my email address is kthomason at ltgc.com. And um, you can email me or send me a text to you at 303-908-7027. And I'd be happy to, to reach back out to you and help you out. Great. And I'll put the contact info, of course, when I post this so people can see it there. Um, okay. So Kim, could you please tell us how are closings different during the pandemic than they used to be? Well, we are constantly changing. That's what's going on. So um, about five or six weeks ago, we did start with contact free closings where people were still coming in the office and we were doing, you know, kind of across the table and trying to be safe that way. Um, and then we started wearing the masks and gloves. And then about a month ago, we decided to consolidate some of our smaller branch offices into five hub offices. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason for that is when the governor kind of gave our stay at home or executive order, we wanted to comply with that. And so we sent, I'd say 70, 75% of our staff to work from home and okay. the other 25 to 30% working in one of the five hub offices um, to conduct our curbside closings. So okay. that's, that's kind of how we consolidated. Um, we have a hub office in Highlands Ranch. We have another one at Orchard and I-25. We have a third one is our main office in Cherry Creek. And then we have two up north, one in Westminster and one in Lafayette. And so uh -huh. that's, that's been a good way for us to kind of take care of clients. And how does the closing work, this, this uh, drive up closing or curbside closing? So you'll, you will have someone greet your car as you drive in and ask if you're selling or buying today and uh, what property you're here for. And then we go and find the closer that is assigned for that closing in that particular hub office. And they come out then with max, mask and gloves and uh, talk them through uh, what the documents will look like. Everything's marked on where they need to sign. And um, some, of, some of the closers are standing outside of the car and kind of going through things. Other people are totally happy going through the documents on their own and maybe picking up the call. And we do have phone, um, a way for the, them to call the closer in the hub office to go over questions. Everyone has a different comfortability here. So we're trying hard to accommodate, you know, how people feel and, and what's best. And are you having agents just sign remotely? We are having agents e-sign settlement statements. Um, I've also seen some of the agents show up at closing. Okay. Um, they like to be there to support their clients. So some have been showing up, but it's not, um, you know, either way is fine. So we've been okay. trying to do that. Mm -hmm. So now what about as far as uh, transactions that are closing, are you seeing less closings than usual at this time of year? So I, it's hard to know because we've consolidated so many offices that the hub offices are very busy. Um, but I know our order accounts coming in for the month of April have been off quite a bit. Okay. Um, you know, April is usually a very big month for us all as the spring season is the biggest, uh, or the most, or the busiest, I should say. And so we've kind of had to, um, adjust with that and, and still we're, we're very busy for the volume we do have, but, um, yeah, I think we're, we're down quite a bit in incoming orders for sure. So do you think now though, that showings are allowed at least from my understanding right now, we can do showings in Douglas County, Denver, Boulder, and then hopefully after May 8th, kind of everywhere in the metro area. Do you think that that number will go back up again? I think it's gonna be a slow ramp up, um, but I have talked to a couple of agents that just think it is bonkers out there already. So I think it's um, hopefully a good indication of what's, co what's to come. Um, I think that a lot of people I've been talking to kind of are thinking it's gonna be a late, later push like we usually have our february through may hoping it's going to be more like june through september okay. um, as kind of our, our season pushes out to the fall so i'm hoping that as people hopefully are playing by the rules and are wearing their masks and only taking buyers in that need to be there yeah. and yeah. Um, you know are doing everything carefully that uh, the governor will see that we are important and essential <laughs> and need to keep things going so right. i i'm hoping that that's what happens yes Good, good. Okay. And so 
What kind of information can land title give to agents to help educate their clients right now? So it's funny, I was just talking to a couple of counterparts um, that are in the Denver metro area with me about that yesterday. And we really want to provide some value to you all on what's going to be helpful. And I think the biggest um, piece we can give that's more of a visual for folks to understand, because January through March, we were ramping up. We were doing really well overall Metro Denver. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was slated to be a very good year, very strong. And so what we want to do is be able to give you all some local insights, depending on what city, zip code, or county you're in, uh, and be able to give you all local insight stats that are going to show four or five pieces of, uh, four or five graphs that show kind of where things have been and where hopefully where we're headed. Um, and I, I do think it's a positive spin on um, this pause, I'm calling it a pause <laughs> in our business for now, and right. where um, these local insights will hopefully be some good visuals to talk to your buyers and your sellers about that it's still a great time to go. Um, high, high demand and low supply is really right. still the case around here. And um, I think with that, we're not going to see hopefully too big of a blip in our um, in our real estate season. So, well, that is great news to hear. I'm sure for, uh, people out there who are thinking of buying or selling. Um, so thank you so much, Kim. It was really great to have you here and, uh, definitely reach out to her. She's a great resource. Yes, definitely. And if I, if I'm, if I'm not, um, particularly your salesperson in land, at land title, I would definitely put you in touch with who can help you. Um, we definitely want to all get through this as a team and get through it together. So let us know how we can help. Awesome. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Hope. Great to see you. You too.